They're coming. Okay, so we got a pretty small force over here. Oh, seems like small forces everywhere. That's famous last words right there. Can't get around to this guy. Probably going to avoid taking any hits. Uh, everything feels not too scary at the moment. Famous last words, of course. Whoa. Just flatten that dude. Yeah, I think... Contagion really needs to proc before death, and then it would be a super cool ability. Uh, as it stands, I think it's uh, not that interesting, unfortunately. And then what? I don't even know which side is the bad side, but... I'm going to provide a little bit of cover over on this side. And then we'll come back just in case we need more support. I Where are all the bad guys? I feel like I missed something. <laughs> Never a good sign. So we got two action points left, so let's hammer time you twice, and then we'll just move over like this. I think our caster can uh, do everything that needs doing. Um, now, propagate-wise, so this would go here, then I think it goes back. We'll see. Hopefully it doesn't dead end there. Yeah, that was good. I wanted to get an isolated. Uh, Contagion is like, Contagion just seems to tell me that I've made a terrible mistake. That's the, oh, Contagion spreads Contagion. That's interesting. Oh, these breakpoints are devastating. At least for now, I'm I'm gonna commit to this side. And hold on, I shouldn't, I shouldn't take my step back here. We're not going to get anything interesting with that. Oh, three actions for that feels really bad. I did see a, uh, I did see third eye proc there, so now I know it's not broken. Okay. And I'm going to come over here and try and blow this guy up. Nice, because then we get three isolated targets. I got to pay more attention to when isolated comes up. Or when third eye comes up. Because it seems useful. <laughs> I kind of like with the sword's bad breakpoints having uh, having the ability to, to follow up. Okay, so let's see. So... This will go down and come back. So you're contagioned now. So if I hit you again, you would transfer your poison, but that doesn't seem 
all that useful. Um, I think just getting rid of the... Oh, okay, so the Contagion procced and they all died. Seems suboptimal. But we're, uh, we're very... We're very under control at the moment. Oh, did we actually take damage there? We did take a point of damage. And then I guess we just armor up. Now let's see. You're dead in two. You're dead in one. I think we poison here. You get contagion, which is just a reminder that you're not dead, if you ask me. 29 plus 16. Okay, yeah, we still have we still have mana to burn. So I think I'm gonna take some steps forward and just Oh, blocker man. Blocker man's getting in my way. Let's hope it goes back. Ooh, it looks like Nope. Looks like it didn't work the way that I wanted it to. Uh that's too far. That's good enough. Anytime I can take out bats, because they just, they have a tendency to ruin my fun. Okay, wait, so, oh, so we're three out of four. Oh, I love the way that that indicates three out of four. That took me way too long to figure out how that works, but that's really cool. So yeah, so now, oh, oh, two more to go. Okay, so does a count down, we just learned. We haven't even used a rain of arrows yet. It's a pretty good one. I'm not loving the the breakpoints that we're getting on on our melee though. I feel like we should be doing more damage. I wasted our our third eye proc there. So one more kill until third eye procs again. And then over here. So I don't know when that's going to proc. Uh, if if he dies via via the po poison, oops, that was that was a little odd. Uh, that was gonna die anyways. That probably wasn't the best play. Hey, curious? Yes, indeed they are. So check out check out this system because I think this is really cool. Uh, so so the new the new setup for the perks tree looks like this, and so each column is thematically organized. But there are more perks for each column than the perks that you, than the five that you see. So every character has a certain randomness that comes from the perks that they're that they are assigned. So you have melee, magic, range. Uh, poison based, debuff based. Uh, I think this is like stabbing based, assassination based kind of thing. And then three sort of grab bag ones. Uh, 
and the perks have been overhauled and feel a lot better uh which uh which is very exciting let's see you're at 25 this is going to take you up to 41 at the moment so you can afford to spend one more and this is as good a way to spend it as any also, your perks show up down here, so you can remember the nature of your character, and when you select an ability, it shows you what things are going to proc. Uh, like, so right now it's telling me Contagion is going to proc. It's a very, uh, very smart setup from my perspective. One thing I don't like, though, is so if I target this guy and blow him up, Contagion doesn't proc until after... Uh, until afterwards so contagion is supposed to like make things spread let's uh no we can't quite get it good we have four actions left so see that that spreads contagion but with no other buffs it's not particularly useful uh Yeah, I haven't figured out how to make Contagion sing, I guess is is what I should say here. Kind of want to do a sword blast. Eh, maybe not. That was less impressive than I imagined. Got two more actions. Almost cleaned that up. We can take you out. Yeah, this uh, Lakeberg. Uh, I guess I had I had forgotten how uh, how painless Lakeberg is. Um, famous last words, but we can spend one more mana. I don't think I want to spend one more mana. So right now we have two kills before we activate third eye again. And then I'm going to drink the potion to take this guy out, which then procs third eye. So next turn we'll have a uh, vision enhanced uh, shot. And wow, I'm, I'm blown away by how easily we're holding things off uh, here. Oh my gosh. Our melee breakpoints though are uh are not not awesome. So see we can hit anywhere. Our vision is unobstructed thanks to third eye. It's a shame you can't save that though. That's one thing that would be uh very interesting. Which does more damage here? 76 to 104 versus 82 to 112. All right. Just in case this guy limps over, we'll do that. And then over here... Yeah, so you really need to... You really need to build for Contagion, it seems. Uh... Because I'm managing to spread contagion and very little else. Uh, <laughs> oh, look! The, the the preview of danger no longer includes poisoned enemies. That is all by itself an incredible change. That is so welcome. So I moved to here. Can I clean you up? No, I can't get the bat. So 
So even from here, can I get the bat? Oh, I can get the bat. Okay. That's pretty good. And then I'm going to hold this one in place, which means these three just need to die. Because we have, we have more sensors that we need to get rid of. Or do we just save these sensors? We should at least put them at one hit point. That's, uh... That is factual. Oh, wait, there's still enemies coming in over here? <laughs> that guy was a little late to the party, if I'm being honest. So I'd like to keep all of my sensors synchronized. So that's why I'm, I'm coming over to do these two on this night. But yeah, so far, uh, Bear and anyone else who is curious, I'm I'm very excited about this uh, these changes that they're, they've made. I think this is a this is an excellent step in the right direction for increasing replayability and forcing you to think a bit more outside of the uh, the strict confines of things. Like, you have to adapt to what you see on offer on your characters as opposed to just having sort of a pre-built one-size-fits-all, if I'm doing a ranged character, I do this type of, type of thing. So we haven't gotten a chance to utilize Lakeberg's greatest asset, which is, of course the lake. I need to be a little careful about that one. And a little careful about this one. I think I can punch both of these down. How hard does this hit? 52. So 52 doubled would be a kill. So I will leave that one at 93. And thwomp that guy. Okay. Feeling good. Liking the distribution. Patience uh, came up big this round. We lost one hit point that night. <laughs> that was our melee character. Okay. Oh, it feels so good. Yep, all the sensors have returned. We'll push back again. And then I think I am going to try and push for the in this night. So we have five. So I'm going to put both of these because that's good money. And then we have three left. So I will tear down this. Which doesn't actually put us... Oh, well, wait. We haven't collected our gold. That, that puts us in pretty good shape. We don't have a great place to put the inn. This is usually a really annoying place to defend. I think if I take this barricade out, this is a good place to put it. Eh, that's one further out than I expected it to be. Um, eh, we'll tuck it in here. The river protects it to a certain extent. And then we're looking for another character. We can't afford Maximus, who was a hero... A weakling and swift. Oh, Maximus. Oh, and you get to see above their heads their banners. That's so cool. I like that a lot. What about Meg? Plague Doctor, healthy, and demonic blood. That's pretty nice for a melee character. A jeweler, trained and wise. Not that interesting. Carrier, tough, mystic. I gotta be honest. I like... I like Maximus a lot here with the free action point. But is there any way that we get the money for that? Let's see what our knight reward is. Shield with poison damage on it and physical damage and block. A rifle plus two with poison damage. Or I think the rusty sledge is the play. Replacing the hammer with the rusty sledge. Plus two? Yeah.
Oh, that does, that leaves us with no place for the shield to go. So a magician in the shop without the poison tree. So I don't I don't know that I care about the poison tree. Do I? In this case, like I I'm trying to remember Maximus wasn't even yeah, Maximus had a isolation orb, and I don't mind them not having the poison tree, I don't think. And also the debuff tree seems almost better. Like if we look here, right, you get contagion, you get sadist, uh which are almost better, but we haven't gotten to any of the high the high level ones. Like Toxic Leech, I don't know if I'm ever gonna take that. I could certainly see a build with like poisonous toxic leech for a melee. That could be really cool. Just make a really tanky melee that just kind of stands in the thick of it and just propagates insane poison. That would be super fun. But we do need to figure out what we're gonna do. In wise, I, I like the action point here and the swift. Both are nice. You have a pistol, which is not what I like to see. Mm. Plague Doctor. I mean, we could we could go for that with uh, with Meg here. Should we try doing some interesting builds? We could go heavily tanky and go with. Uh, with a poison debuff build, we have the right stuff for it. I say we go for it. Let's let's experiment a little bit. So we're gonna we're gonna build heavy poison. That's our that's our vision, and we're gonna need some tanky equipment uh, to go with her. Did we already sell? No, we didn't sell the hammer, which is good. What goes with the silver great axe? Does one of these go with the silver great axe? Maybe I maybe I leave these here, and I put the rusty sledge here. I don't know. That's a that's a tough one. But we got our fourth person, which is good. And then getting it from two sides. So what's our what's our division of labor here? You're strong. I think you two. You two do work over here, and you two do work over here. That's probably reasonable. Can't afford anything else, but we can. I think we can afford to double up our catapults on both uh, both of the flanks that we're getting attacked from here. Now, you have pretty good single target damage with this. Okay, let's do our level ups. Meg only gets two level ups, kind of hurts. Uh, take physical damage. Oh my gosh, Lola has been offered so much propagation. It's insane. It makes me so sad that we didn't find a way to take advantage of that. So we have Vampirism, Thrifty. Thrifty, which seems a little worse now, I think. Well, I guess it's rounded down. So maybe it's just strictly better. We don't need multi-hits. Skills now cost health instead of mana. All of the hero's mana is transformed into daily health regen. So what I'm thinking is, is if you do blood magic and you do vampire, you might be able to go infinite with your mana. And then if you toss Mana Shield in there, you might be able to get a ton of sustain out of it. For the time being, though, whenever an isolated unit, no adjacent, is killed, gain four damage until that. We don't want Duelist on Lola, that's for sure. I kind of want to play around with Blood Magic. But I think we need vampirism first before we do blood magic. What are we going to be giving up next turn? 
Okay. Oh, we're going to need two. So we're going to have to spend two here. So why don't we get... Why don't we get Vampire? And then we can get Blood Magic next turn. Oh, wait. Longer weapons. Uh, It does make our dash faster. Oh, let's try Vampire. Let's get a little crazy. Now for our ranged character. We'll roll that once. Movement points are never... Never to be uh, ignored. We like isolation for sure. Longer weapons is interesting. We don't have duelist. Uh, duelist I would have been very excited about over here. Oh, we do have duelist. Yeah, let's try. Let's try playing with duelist. We get magic damage. More propagation bounces is nice. And then over here, Toxic Leech. We don't really need the healing. There should be something for, like, overhealing. I think it's going to be Thrifty for sure. Plus one trinket, trinket Equipment Slot. For each Trinket Equipped, gain some mana. Plus three bounces, minus damage. Oh, let's do Quantity over Quality, and then we'll get Thrifty next time. Since we're doing okay on mana right now. All right, Meg. Don't let me down. You're already letting me down. Hmm. The block is good. Not really what we're looking for, but the crit is good. The blue tier. Is there a healing received perk? Okay, what does she have? Ooh, sprint we haven't seen. Unlock the sprint ability. Allowing you to restore movement points in exchange for some health. Oh, for six health you gain... Ooh, sprint it seems bomb. Harvester. For every six enemies killed, gain one mana. Awesome. That's an awesome perk. Uh, but we're building... We're going to build her Poisonous, Toxic Leech, Contagion, Sadist. <laughs> when you apply poison to a currently poisoned unit... So I, I think we... I want to go all in on this plan. But we do need to make sure that our armor is sufficient. Right now, we're not really capable. So let's... But we're going to grab this and Poisonous. So things nearby should get poisoned. We don't have Mana Shield. Yeah, you really... The one thing that's hard is... It's hard to know... If you can build the thing that you want to build in a at a glance. But we're gonna we're gonna go for those. And then I'm gonna roll this once. You know what we haven't seen at all? Poison. Not even once. Uh this is our last secondary attribute. I think skill range is pretty good here. But we haven't seen poison on any of our secondary attributes so far. All right, everybody's leveled up. Feeling good. We we could put down more catapults, but I don't think we need to. And I'm going to put us in a position to just try and roast these as much as possible on turn one. That's my goal. We're going to try and spend all of our actions just deleting everything. 